Warsaw has been the capital of Poland since the end of the 16th century. Its appearance has greatly changed since then. The communists laid out wide avenues, ideal for traffic, but rather impersonal. These thoroughfares are now evolving and more modern architecture is gradually making its appearance. During the war, the city was almost completely destroyed by the Nazis. It has now risen from its ashes, and with the help of paintings and photos, they've done an impressive job of reconstructing certain sectors exactly as they were originally. A heritage saved from barbarous destruction and protected by the mermaid, the symbol of the city, and by UNESCO. Reconstructed with great care, the royal castle was the residence of the kings of Poland, then the seat of parliament. The interior has also been completely restored to how it was in the second half of the 18th century. Fortunately, many of the works of art had been taken to safety before the destruction carried out by the Germans, who, in effect, made a great effort to systematically destroy all the symbols of the Polish nation and culture. The younger generation are being taught to sharpen their concentration by listening to music. On the ramparts of the old city is the Barbican, a fortified bastion dating from the 16th century. The city, founded two centuries earlier, very soon became an object of envy. It rapidly became the seat of both temporal and spiritual power. The numerous churches built in a variety of styles show how important Warsaw was for the Catholic Church as well as for other religious denominations. The civil architecture bears witness to the splendor and opulence of the reign of Poland's last king, Stanislas Poniatowski. Monuments and buildings several centuries old were destroyed in just a few days of fighting against the German occupying forces. Initiated by the Polish resistance movement, the uprising of the population in 1944 was marked by violent combats. A few buildings miraculously preserved still bear the scars. The Jewish ghetto uprising took place a year before. Despite the hardships the Jews were undergoing, a group of intrepid youth mobilized to stand up against the Germans. They found ways to communicate among themselves and acquired arms and ammunition. In April 1943, the uprising broke out. The odds were 100 to 1, but they held out for a month and inflicted severe losses on the enemy. The Villanov Palace, which survived the war, is a shining jewel of Baroque architecture. Where the old structures couldn't be saved, modern-day architecture has taken over. Like here in the university library, with its surprising rooftop garden. From the quiet library to the bustling Schmielner Street is quite a change. This pedestrian street is one of the capital's busiest arteries. In the Praga district, your attention is caught by this curious band. They play requests, like a jukebox. You choose your tune by sending a text message. Night has fallen. As the streets empty, the jazz clubs fill up. <laughs> <laughs> 